Coming up, up close and personal with a dragon eel. I use the Chemapure Elite and uh, Nuvo 16 and you know, a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry-free system because of the Chemapure. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. We're at the Global Pet Expo, the 2016 edition in the Aquatic Lounge, which is beautiful. And the great thing about the Aquatic Lounge is people, uh, fish distributors, wholesalers from all over the country come here and they bring rare fish. And these are fish that you typically can't see in your local store. Oftentimes they cost too much, or if no, for, for no other reason, uh, the local wholesalers are here and they want to show the retailers that they can get those rare fish that they might want, or they're just trying to outdo each other. The bottom line is, is that for me, when I get here, I get the opportunity to talk to people about these fish and I get the chance to take pictures and video of these rare fish. And today I want to talk about a pair of dragon eels that are on display here. Absolutely amazing fish. And this is a pair that was collected in the wild as a pair together. And here's some video and some information from the folks at SunPet, one of the wholesalers who are distributing here. We have a pair of Hawaiian dragon eels here. They were actually caught together, uh, collected out of the same hole together. So it is a pair. They're real easy to take care of, actually. They'll, they eat shrimp and fish. Um, they're hardy. First fish I ever I ever got, well, as an adult anyway, I had little tanks as kids, but my first uh, aquarium was I bought it from an old employer of mine who had a 70 gallon tank with a 17 year old dragon eel in it. And that was my first saltwater fish purchase and aquarium purchase as an adult. Um, they're, they're not terribly aggressive as they're in with fish they can't swallow, they leave them alone. So you can keep them with a lot of other fish. It's a really, really great fish. The, they're pro a little bit expensive, so that is kind of prohibitive for a lot of people because it's an expensive fish. But um, as far as ease of keeping, they're not a problem to keep. They're beautiful. They come out. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, for a single dragon eel, you're looking at probably about $2,000. Uh, for, for a pair that were wild caught together, because of the uniqueness of that, they're very seldom caught together and collected and kept together through the, through the distribution process. So these would be probably more of a $6,000 purchase. The one I had ended up um, at 27 years old is when it died. At that time the fish was a little over three feet. I would imagine in the ocean they probably get larger than that but this fish was in a 70 gallon tank the entire time it was in captivity and did very very well. It, like with any eel you need to have it covered well. Um, they can find cracks and get out if they get restless. Um, especially when you first get them is when they're more restless or during feeding time. But um, So I would, I would cover them well. Um, you feed them, you only feed them occasionally, maybe once a week. You feed them a good meal and nothing in between. So there's a look at dragon eels. Remember, FinCasters is your video fish fix. Think of FinCasters, the YouTube channel, like you used to think of maybe a magazine. There's topics here on planted tanks. We've interviewed some of the industry leaders. We talk about how the aquarium hobby touches up against the environment. It's all there, so check out the different videos on YouTube, and I'm sure you'll find something you like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.